Hello everyone and welcome to the Sedona International Film Festival. I'm Carol Kahn coming to you live from Sedona Rouge Hotel and Sedona Rouge is one of our sponsors along with Black Magic Design, Sudden Link and Sedona Media Services. And joining me right now is Malcolm and David from the film Math Alternative, Alternative Math. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so many ways to say it. <clears throat> Well, Alternative I, math, yeah. Back and forth. Right. <laughs> I was never good at math. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be to watch it. There's no math involved in watching this film. That was probably the poorest subject for me, and you would never know that English was good either. <laughs> yeah. The, the people in, in the film are not good at math either. If you see it, you'll know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to Sedona. Thank, Thank you. you. And I understand it's your, Malcolm, it's your first time? It's both. Well, it's my first time in Sedona. Mm-hmm in my existence, uh, but certainly it's both our first time for the festival, Yeah, which great. is wonderful. Which camera do I look into? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been wonderful. We just got in yesterday, so. From, yeah. where are you from? I am from just Dallas <laughs> right now. <laughs> We're both from Dallas, but whenever he says I'm from Dallas, people go, what? Yeah, no, yeah. you don't I'm have from, a Texas I'm from Scotland originally, yes. just outside Glasgow, so. Yeah, so oh. we were with, then we were in, uh, uh, San Jose for another film festival, and we came here for the real film festival. For the real film festival. Unless <laughs> exactly. the people from the other film festival are watching, and in that case, yours was, yours was good. <laughs> <laughs> we okay, can time, edit this out. Time's yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you have nothing good to say about Sedona, time's up. <laughs> we just want to hear good things. <laughs> well, welcome both, and um, tell us a little bit about your film. Um, it it's funny. Is, what's that? It's, it's funny, hopefully. Uh, no. Uh, um, so I guess you'd call it a satirical, absurdist comedy, I guess. It's, uh, it's called Alternative Math. It's sort of parodying the phrase alternative facts, which you may have heard mm -hmm. the last we'll year. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, we've all but heard that. rules are life's not. Yes. Uh, so it's sort of like if you took that principle and applied it to math, how nothing works anymore. You know what I mean? Like if you can't even agree on the basics, like 2 plus 2 equals 4, you know what happens so you know starts off with a kid you know a teacher a sweet little math teacher trying to correct this kid to put 2 plus 2 equals 22 on his test and uh, he doesn't want to say he doesn't want he says why can't i believe it my way and it sort of spirals out of control well then the, the parents come days. in and they say to the teacher you can't tell our kid what to think and then the school board gets Prince involved ball. and then yeah. it's got a really good ending which i won't spoil so go and see it which camera right. the kids? Every, everybody <laughs> dies no i'm kidding no, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like the sixth sense there's the no no dead no blood in this film at all. Yeah. <laughs> that's good so what inspired you to actually put this film together well i guess kellyanne conway oh, and uh, trump well, yeah. <laughs> trump's the big blanket for all of this so but yeah yeah so we're wor we're working on a, a feature script it's actually the first film malcolm and i have been working on we're working on a feature film uh script and we did your, uh, I sort of call it a classic screenwriter procrastination technique where if you're stuck on this one, you just go write something else. Yeah, I'm not stuck. I'm working on another script. See, mm -hmm. I'm still writing. So, but yeah, it came about when Alternative Facts got spoken. I was like, that's a really good title for something. And then um, I called Malcolm. I was like, hey, I got this funny idea for like an alternative, sort of parroting the phrase Alternative Facts. But what if it was, you know, what's the stupidest possible thing you could be arguing about? Well, how about like what's two plus two? You know what I mean? And like we built a film around that concept and he said you're an idiot no that's not true. <laughs> i have said it as something <laughs> actually that might be true so uh but yeah so that's what that's what inspired it and then yeah. uh and then i mean i wanted to work on it. i think we both wanted to work on it because it's a wonderful wonderful catharsis for what's happening just now just mm -hmm. now in culture with media and all these different things and it's sometimes good to laugh at these things or get a release from it it can yeah. be pretty depressing <laughs> so and i will say some people don't even catch the political angle. Some people think it's about our school systems and how, you know, kids can't be wrong and overprotective parents, and that's fine too, you know. It's sort of like there's a film and there's a secret film underneath that some people mm -hmm. catch and some people don't, that's fine. It's, mm -hmm. Our first draft was like really obvious what it was about and we sort of made it more subtle over time. So now, now it's to the point that some people were like, how did you not get what we're saying? It's called alternative math. <laughs> but anyway. How is it received in the theater? It has been received it's kind of crazy, and I hate saying this because it makes it sound like it we're not. It does make us sound, sound like, like we're not confident in our own film. Yeah. <laughs> but we com didn't expect it was going to be liked, I guess. Yeah, comedies are weird because, at least with the filmmaking process, because you know you write it, you rewrite it, you cast it, you do multiple takes, you edit it for a month. You know, by the time you're done, you watch and you're like, "Is this funny?" I, I have no idea. You know, it's like, <laughs> what joke's funny a hundred mm -hmm. times? You know, no joke. So. 
And I, I always say that like a drama, you can show a drama, get a B minus or a C. A comedy, you get an A or an F, you know, when you show it. It's like, it's either it's funny or it's not funny. There's no like, eh, it was, so, yeah, the first time we showed it, we were like, you know, sweating, and like, oh, and then people started laughing. We're yeah. like, okay, good. And then it finally got to the end. We came up with this, uh, I don't know, it's probably like draft eight. We finally came up with an ending that we thought, I guess that's okay. I don't know how else to end it. And when it got to the end, people were like cheering, like, whoa. Yeah. We were like, what? <laughs> but so, we, I mean, it's weird. But I mean, yeah, it's been received really well. The first time we screened it, we screened ahead of a really depressing movie in a comedy block, so I don't know why. So I think when ours was obviously comedy, Maybe that helped it a little bit, but yeah, we had people standing up and clapping, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm done. I've achieved life. I can." So that means this screening, it'll probably be like dead silent, just like total yeah. crickets. Be, <laughs> but no, I no. Hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna it seems yeah, to it seems to connect it seems with to people hit a for, nerve with people. Yeah, I think. for whatever reason, how mm -hmm. whatever level they get it on, we're glad they're getting it. So. Mm -hmm. And is that really difficult? You just mentioned about comedy sometimes because you never know, like if people are going to laugh. Is it really difficult? Like as you're writing it, first you probably think it's funny when you first do it, right. but then by the time you get, like you said, down to the eighth time, it's not funny anymore. So how do you like keep up with that to make sure that it still well, that, remains? That's one of the comedy? good things about having two people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's like I've got this really funny idea, and I tell Malcolm, he's like, "You thought that was funny?" It's like, "Oh, maybe not." You know, because it's so subjective. But if we both think it's funny, um, that's a, that's the first good sign. I think part of it is just not forgetting sort of what you thought was funny about the idea at first, because it's easy to like work on it, and then at some point you're like, yeah, that's not funny anymore. I like this new twist on it, and sometimes the mm -hmm. new twist doesn't even make sense if you don't know what the first version. Of, I don't, does that make sense? What I'm saying? It's no. like, it's, and it's not funny, David. No. <laughs> but I, I, I guess throughout the shooting and the, I mean, it helps. You kind of have like different places where the project comes to life. Like you write the script and rewrite it, and you think it's good. And then when you first start auditioning actors, that's great because like for the first time people are reading and you're like, oh, this actually is. Funny. You know what I mean? Hopefully, at least you're like, this is, this is funny. And then you shoot it. And they're like, I think it's important in editing to with the comedy to bring in some fresh eyes occasionally, and they'll they'll let you know if it's funny or not. You know what I mean? Like you're like, ooh, I thought that was funny. Nobody's laughing. Maybe we need to trim that joke out. You know or yeah, so I, I guess that's it. I don't know if there's a foolproof way, but kind of, I guess that's why Hollywood does like test audiences and stuff, is they kind of see what works or what doesn't. Yeah, I hope somebody's filming this because it's kind of like a comedy <laughs> routine. <right? laughs> yeah, no, we practiced all that. <laughs> I think maybe you need to rehearse a little bit. <laughs> but <laughs> I do want to open up to some questions. Yes. Yeah, so um, as folks in comedy, like how prime uh, is the like vast well of stuff you have to pull from? from current like media scenario mm -hmm. and how like how well, important is it for you that you cause laughter to be in the right areas instead of the wrong areas good question well the first one look how great all the late night comedy shows are doing I mean, yeah there's just you almost don't have to do anything you know what i mean it's like there's <clears throat> the the world has kind of gotten a little absurd <laughs> so yeah. like in our, in our film it's exaggerated like obviously we all agree that two plus two is four but um you know, but people will watch and be like, that's exactly what's happening at my school. Or I was like, well, I'm pretty sure that's not exactly what, I mean, you know what I mean, nobody, but I mean, but that's how people, emotionally it feels true to people that like we've reached this point where it's just so absurd. And then the second part, what? I mean, I, I That was the hard part, so I'm gonna give that yeah. to Malcolm. <laughs> I think comedy is a bit like lemonade. You take something very bitter and you add sweetness to it and it makes the bitter, unpalatable thing palatable and understandable so right now we have that wonderful lemon <laughs> to put lemonade <laughs> into or put, put sweetness into so yeah right now there is a lot of stuff and there's a lot of people who want to be cheered up just now I think in in some way I see people nodding yeah but, and as far as laughing we're in the right or wrong place I don't care if they if something was unintentionally funny people are like that's genius I go thank you you know what I mean like I don't know if there's a wrong place to I'm just speaking in terms of laughter on the wrong end of a joke that misses the overall problem, or is people laughing at the ridiculousness of a concept because it's creating an imbalance in a society? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Well, I guess I mentioned this. So, you know, people get different things out of a laugh for different reasons, and I guess we, I guess this means we succeeded on some level. It's just vague enough that people think it's ha ha ha. That's making fun of you, and then they'll be like, ah, oh, it's making fun of you. So, like, different people see different things and interpreted different ways and that's just fine that's probably a good thing actually you know what I mean that people look at it that way I hope that answered your question yeah. and how can people find out about your film uh, let's see we have a Facebook page and 
it will be on YouTube. You can go search for alternative math mm -hmm. and find it there. <clears throat> so, yeah, Google it. But but come but come uh, see it. At come live. And see it again. It's yeah. much, much much more fun to watch with an audience than it is to watch on a you know small screen somewhere. It'll change your life. <laughs> <laughs> That's not overselling it for at the all. Worst, I was trying to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say for the better. <laughs> oh. Well, Malcolm and David, thank you so much for being with us. Thank and you. Thank you. Sedona. I look forward to seeing your film. Thank you. And we'll be back with more from the Sedona International Film Festival right after this. <laughs>